Good Monday morning to you. Hope you all are doing well. Hi, I'm Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and President of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And every Monday, I record a little ditty about Jack and Diane. Nice 80s reference there for those of you who get it. Um, every Monday, I record a video to tell you about what happened last week and what's happening this week with the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And so just to give you a little summary, last week we met with the ranking member of the House Committee on Natural Resources, Congressman Raul Grijalva, who came into town because he wanted to hear about all the different local entities and organizations and businesses that have embraced and become invested in our national monument, the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument. He came by here, loved the Girl Scout patch, by the way, the Girl Scout patch. He loved this one and this one. We're working on another one. Just you wait. And uh, he was really pleased with uh, learning about how the businesses in the community have embraced the monument. As he is going on about his Antiquities Act tour, um, there are some challenges to the president's use of the Antiquities Act to designate and protect public lands. And so he wanted to hear positive stories about how that has helped, helped in communities and Las Cruces is a shining example. So we were really happy to host him and uh, glad that he was able to stop in Las Cruces. Also, we had a Green Committee meeting last week. I'm so excited about this. So we had Tarkisha Burton from the, the South Central Solid Waste Authority, Joni Newcomer from the Sustainability Office at NMSU, Mary Canavan is our board member and also the chair of the committee, and she's the Sustainability Officer for NASA, um, and Corey Asbill, who is also on our board and works with SunPower by Positive Energy. We met last week to talk about the Sustainable Business Recognition Program. And so you have two days, two days, tomorrow is the deadline to nominate your business. Show us how you reduce and reuse and recycle and buy refurbished and keep money in this community. We want to recognize you for that. And so uh, you have two days, tomorrow's the deadline to nominate your business for the Sustainable Business Recognition Program. Go to localloscruces.com, click on Programs, and you'll see the Sustainable Business Recognition Program there. The application is not hard at all. Um, you just kind of click on little boxes, and it's super, super easy. So go there, and uh, we'd love to recognize your business for what you do in reducing your carbon footprint in, uh, on our beautiful planet. Um, now it is time to show you all some Think Local Love, and this time it is Pretty Nice Creations. Pretty Nice Creations. They will have a booth at the Museum Rock Show on the weekend of Saturday, February 18th, uh, from 9 to 5 o'clock, and Sunday, February 19th, from 10 to 5 at the New Mexico Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. There is a small fee to get in. Uh, Rachel Courtney, who owns and runs and is the mind behind Pretty Nice Creations, uh, she will be having jewelry for sale, and we'll have three pieces of art on exhibit. Oh, excuse me, i got to show you some of her art. Sorry. I should have had this out. But she, um, there will also be other, other artists there on display but, uh, for the Love of Art Month. But um, you can check it in during the Downtown Art Ramble, which is also this Friday. Um, she will be there. And so, oh, <laughs> Sorry. I love this piece. I love this piece. And by the way, this logo, you're going to see this more with our Think Local Love segment. So uh, if you want to show your love for the land of enchantment um, and also support a locally owned business, pretty nice creations. Going to be at the Farm and Ranch the weekend of the 18th and 19th. And also you will see her as part of the uh, downtown art ramble this Friday uh, from 5 to 7 o'clock uh, celebrating for the Love of Art Month. And if you would like to reach over 3,000 people on our Facebook page, my board's Facebook pages, my personal Facebook page, by having this Think Local Love segment, contact us, us here because it is super, super inexpensive. You'll reach a lot of people. You get a nice Think Local Love shout out, and, uh, and it's a great deal. So um, this week, we have our February 1st Friday, and uh, I'm going to be giving this uh, workshop this week on uh, Friday, this Friday the 3rd, from 11.30 to 12.30 at the Brannigan Library, Roadrunner Room. Uh, this time, I'm going to be talking about the importance of fundraising for nonprofits, and i uh, um, got over 30 years' experience running nonprofits and, uh, and fundraising, and um, if you are a nonprofit, you know, one of the most critical things that you can do, besides what you do for your clients, your customers, your donors, your sponsors, 
um, folks who support what you do, and the people who receive your services, um, one of the most important things you need to do is fundraise. Um, because if you can't raise the money, it's hard to do the things that you need to do. So what I'm going to be talking about are really some opportunities to fundraise, how to assess the effectiveness of your fundraising efforts, and provide tips and strategies on developing new fundraising campaigns. So I'm really excited about it because, uh, you know, it, you can be really creative and folks have a good time with it. And um, But it's also really hard to kind of do sometimes. And as a nonprofit, you might need some help. And so that's where I come in. And I'm going to do that on Friday, this Friday. RSVP, you'll see if you look below on our page, the post below, you'll see how you can go ahead and RSVP to that. Um, we'd love to see you this Friday from 11.30 to 12.30 at the Roadrunner Room at the Brannigan Library. Fundraising for nonprofits. It's free. It's part of our first Friday that we co-sponsor with West, and we would love to see you there. So that's about all for this week. I just got a notice that I need to write my column for the Sun News. So you'll see that this coming Sunday uh, as well, talking about localism. So have a great day. Have a great week. And thanks so much. And uh, we'll talk to you next week.